Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 24 of my journey through Solo Self Found Trial of the Ancestors League. Last time I got my Caustic Arrow Raider leveled up, and we are set to blast some heist with super movement speed. I've got 240 heist contracts to run. And the numbers don't add up because of the unique ones that are stored in here as well, but there's 240 of them. I got the heist members mostly all leveled up in their respective roles. Niles still has a bit to go. I still need a little bit of trap disarmament on Vendiri. I'm going to start with brute force. I'll run these with Tibbs because Tibbs is the highest level of brute force. The level determines how fast they open stuff. So I could take Huck for brute force, but he's going to be slower overall. And since I have so many to run, I want to go as fast as possible. So Tibbs comes in and the brooch that I need for Tibbs isn't as valuable as some of the others. Like Nanette, I want to make sure I'm getting duplicate div cards if possible. So the idea is I'll use Tibbs to try and find some higher tier gear to fully flesh out some of the gear a little bit. I'll run job speed and haste in most of these, but in the ones mansions records office bunkers i will run my job speed determination then yeah a chance to duplicate basic currency that'll be a good trinket there going to scour all these just so i don't have to even think about them and then let's go hopefully i will continue to gain levels on this character but the goal is just to get in and out as fast as possible if i want to do 240 heist contracts in eight hours i have to get through these in an average of two minutes each so i'm gonna have to fly but this character is very fast so the goal isn't to fight the enemies it's just get in get out i got this awesome trinket that'll convert chromes into fusings and i think i can do it i think i can get all these done today uh oh i pushed that i guess i better run for it but i can run for it come on tibbs bust it open oh still 10 seconds easy i am trying to get as much loot as possible as well like the main goal is to just get the heist targets or the rogue markers and the blueprint reveals and whatnot but the more rogue markers i have the more blueprint rooms i can reveal so i want to get as many as i can oh i can open two chests on the way back now with tibbs a soul eater yeah it's not even worth just just run just run like i can run past them before they can even get an attack off Ooh, imbued ones i want those but yeah, i am gonna try and loot some stuff now that i'm running higher level contracts but that is the plan and then pop out open the next one dump the stuff while it's opening up and go next and that's how it's got to be done if i want to get through them all five chests three weeks e, another devotos maybe that one will be better currency duplicated playing knife gluttony run oh, i'll go ahead and hit the safes first and grab this hopefully these open ensnaring air i'll just grab it and zoom 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 and he busts through really easily he stuns enemies too so it's even easier to run through these rooms with all the enemies at the door but like i'm just so fast and i have phasing so it just like doesn't matter and fully at brooch that's things i'm looking for withering step and curse big packs of blue enemies maybe to kill them but otherwise in and out and i'm like i'm already gaining so much xp only level 87 this devoto is better no it is not bunch of bad devotos i don't want to spend too much time rolling gear if i can get away with it but i do really want at least one really nice brooch with big like rogue marker value chance to duplicate currency mainly 12 percent div cards that's worth a regal very morbs and splinters I only have 19 regals. I can't go too crazy on these. There we go. 15% currency, rarity. Regal says 10% legion splinters. Really good. Is it worth an exalt? Do it. XP gain. Rip. And then I'll throw the div cards one on the net for now. Cool. That'll work. More currency is good. Because on these weapons chests, you duplicate the chromes that can come out of them, which can turn into fusings and fusings are the thing I want the most. Yeah, there we go. Rome's converted to fusings from my trinket. Really awesome. I can use Withering Step for a bit of extra movement speed with Elusive as well. Pretty nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Did they lock? They shut a door behind me? Since when is that a thing? Huh? Okay. Ooh. 
Regicide Disguise Kit, that's big. Throw on a Skittering Incubator. Yeah, duplicated chromes and fusings. And yes, a really good way to quantify all this stuff because there's lots of little stuff that accumulates. See how the currency tab compares to the end of this. 20% quality flame dash. Nice find. Stack of four stack decks. Stack decks count as currency. So for duplicating currency, that you can duplicate stack decks. Another big reason to have the currency duplication trinket or brooch. I will definitely be picking up lots of stack decks. Level 88. I quickly grab this. Does he charge? Yeah. 20% quality dark pact. Ooh, that sounded big. What oh, we got? No big, no good bases. Fractured items. This already is just feeling fantastic. Like I'm going to get these heist contracts done so much faster than last league. Last league, the 240 contracts would have taken two or three days with like any of the builds that I had. But this, this is something special. EOB is also saying, but I mean, before the fifth frenzy charge, and my DPS is like 160k. So I really don't have the damage to stick around and really fight a lot of stuff on this. So it's it's kind of more suited to just blasting in and out i'll kill what dies feels a little bit more like a heist this way though and kind of like a raider oh i got caught by the security specialist rip okay it's bound to happen while well, i was running the determination just to try to avoid that but get hit by that it's probably going to kill me security specialists are definitely my biggest fear superior okay i got 2120 ball lightning that is the second level 21 ball lightning the game has given me that came from an incubator i got last time the game's trying to tell me to do something with ball lightning i think so maybe that needs to be done a lion's roar Level 89. That level came really quick. Should mean my offhand cost scale arrows will level. Getting a level 21 caustic arrow would help a lot. Or a vault caustic arrow would also be fine with me. Uh, where level go? Could work towards another frigid charge. Could also just start getting more life. And actually, I'll go ahead and get written in blood. The Salem. Jim's level. The toxic rain. Not the offhands yet. All right, I've been recording for 43 minutes and I've completed, I think that was a, a group of... 19 heists so i'm on track to pull it off brute forces are fairly quick but not bad and then this brooch is solid for trap disarmament i'll do that next there's a lot of trap disarmament 30 of them scour them all so he already has currency legion splinters i like the one tips had better the rarity is cool determination job speed for records office 425 million xp per hour currently wild considering like i'm not actually trying to kill stuff for the most part things are dying in the process and i'm not opening the talisman chests no 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 it looks like vin Deary can only open three big chests and one small chest, at least on a white heist contract. If you run them with mobs on them, you get extra alert reduction. Okay, there's my caustic arrows coming. Ow! Oh. Okay, caustic arrows, 20. Vol caustic arrow, 19. Vol caustic arrow, 20. And vol caustic arrow. Okay, vol caustic arrows in. Toxic rain, corrupt that 20 all level toxic rains flip a bunch of these gems to deal with this heist of gem levels every time i kill anything and there's four big breach chests here i can only open three of them probably not worth it but i cleared all the way to the end I'm going back for the breach chest Oof, there's little mines underneath the chest i mean it was worth there was 14 splinters i should have the speed to get back hopefully it was quite a run oh and then here's a vol caustic arrow spreads in six rays well i guess you really can't see it very well the the vol caustic arrow like fires up and it spreads this degen in all these different ways and it's definitely doing way more damage than my normal caustic arrow so if i if i need something tough to die that is a solid option and with the arrow nova it spreads so far you don't have to aim really very nice it really opened up Caustic Arrow to really be kind of a single target build. Where you've always had to rely on Toxic Rain in the past. Alpha's Howl. Madiri is level 5. Trap Disarmament, finally. Level 90. So that is written in blood. 47, 41 life. That, that's a big upgrade. It's like 10% more life than I started with. Oh, I died. I ran through traps on the chests. Ooh security specialist but like i can kill these things now because of the vault caustic arrow and an omen orb that's cool hmm i messed up i went before the tr 
traps had gone. I killed myself to the traps. Rip an almond orb. Ugh. It let me keep the unique contract it dropped. Yeah, you gotta be patient. Let the traps go. Yeah, that's the thing I've definitely learned here. Trap disarmament must be careful. Volcaustic arrow, very good. Uh, nice. Done with the hard ones. That means I get the job speed hasted. These orders don't do too terribly much, if I'm being honest, because a lot of the time, the heist member I'm taking with me can't keep up. I ran too far. Get by the trap on the chest. Trap disarmaments. Super sketch. 20% quality artillery ballista. Ow. So much duplicated currency. It's amazing. Geomancer's incubator. The six link. Forbidden tome. Okay. Those can drop in heists. Good to know. 20 quality conversion trap. Out of the breach chest. That is definitely because of my trinket. 3% chance for gem reward. Another geomancer's incubator. Level 91. And grab more life here. Okay, so I just got nine GCPs out of an armor chest. So gem rewards can be GCPs as well. That's cool. Trap disarmament is not now done. That was another 30. Down. Keep it with Vendiri and go demolition. Minus four max resistances per alert level. I'm just like deleting that. It's a mirror. I can't scour it. Okay, back to wait, where's my determination? There it is. Demolitions normally take the longest of all of them. Wow! <laughs> Lots of chaos. Vol orbs. Chaos and wither resistant enemy. Pain. It dropped me six sockets though. Oh, I have to pick the chests I want to open here. If I Brought Tibbs in here, I could open two of the big chests on the way back. But I want to go for the miscellaneous ones. Catalysts are ideal. Blight is not going to give me oils. It's going to give me enchanted maps with blights and blight scarabs. I don't really need that. So the miscellaneous ones you can get a lot of chaos orbs from. Regal orbs. Um, gold. Uh, man, get rid of the titan gauntlets. 20 quality ground slam. One of the downsides of bringing 20 heist contracts in the heist contract. Worm call area of effect on a siege helmet. 20 quality frost bolt. Level 92. More life. Over 5k. Done with those. I can go back to my haste. Ooh. Four metamorph chests. I could have maybe gone after a brooch dedicated to metamorph. Level 20 storm brand. Demolition is done. Demolition takes the longest. Three hours and 11 minutes currently. See if I can get another brooch or two going. 20% job speed, 12% map fragments. Ooh, lockdown. Has an open suffix on it. Ooh, another T1 currency. Hiring fee. That's a suffix. So rip on that. T1 maps. Lockdown job speed. Also not good. 11% currency, 9% map fragments. Okay. That's a good one for Karst. You know, I found a lockpick. Yeah. Big job speed. Additional reveal. Lockpicking XP. Okay. Lockpicking it is then. Only 17 of them. I need more scouring orbs. Many as I can have. And I can get fragment chests in here. So that's why I wanted the map fragments. So this is where you can farm up offering the goddess. Ooh. All right. This thing needs to die. Launch the vol. Oh, it missed. Launch the other one. Pick. Yeah, another offering the goddess. Scarabs. Monies. Mm, I logged. I was going to die. I didn't have a life flask for corrupting blood. Three jewelry chests in that one, though. If I wasn't 10% away from my level, I might have just died or tried to do something there. But there was no chance. Level 93. More life. Divine orb. And done with lockpicking. Roll another brooch. Basic currency and essences. I like that one. Means probably agility next. Currency, delirium orbs, and splinters. Not bad. Worth holding on to. Lena. Currency essences. 30 agility missions. The numbers are going down. Someone mentioned that I could use a phase run and a molten shell to potentially run through the trip wires. I'm just going to stack job speed and let Talina do it. She's actually pretty fast at stuff once you get her leveled and have decent job speed on her. Uh-oh. Drop one of the garbage ones. Take the good one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Level 21 Blade Flurry. Okay. Missing out on 10% attack speed with that. Another little gift from my cool trinket. A Putrid Cloister. Nice. That's fun. A Fool Harbinger's Orb. Not Splinters. Another Tear of Purity. Let's see if this is the one. There we go. Blood of Corruption. Challenge complete. 2118 Shrapnel Ballista. Okay. Awaken Void Manipulation Level 3. 
The Divine Orb. Here's Marling. It's second Imperial Legacy of the League. That's that's a good find, I guess. Might be the best way to get a six link bow. Because no, I guess there's porcupines. I actually have the resources that I could make a plus three bow with the porcupine cards and have a six link that way. Oh, whoa. Right before level 94. Yikes. Um just get 5% more life. Iron Hat. Static Strike plus one max beam targets. That sounds cool. That seems like, oh, that could be fun. Mess around with Static Strike, additional beam targets, but Iron Hat. Something's a little lost in there. No more agility. I guess next is engineering. Wow, there's a lot of engineering. Oh boy, more engineering than there's been of any others. Okay, Isla. Currency and essences is solid. I'll just do that. Don't want to deal with it. Uh, termination job speed she has that and i now have reduced a little hurt and movement speed on a whisper woven i'll give her that that's definitely the best one of these i didn't realize that rolled so well yeah essences i mean duplicating maps is solid because i can get guardian maps but currency essences is solid there's lots of chaos come out of the unidentified chests veritania that's nice the one i have the least of level 20 storm call another imperial legacy Oh, there's a shortcut I skipped two doors. Well, that was cool. I don't think I've ever done that before. The chains that bind? Hey, a blueprint. First one of those. Another Harbinger orb. This one came out of a miscellaneous chest. Fixlink Crypt Armor. Came from the incubator. The next one's getting close. The other one is a Vol Regalia. Ooh, 176 though. So the base didn't roll well. But it is a Vol Regalia. Item level 83. Level 20 vulnerability. Another blueprint. Replicas. A Pit of the Chimera. Level 20 Reap. An Exalted Orb. You need those more than divines. I have so much high skier, I would love to just exalt. Ooh, toxic raids are about to hit level 20. To be honest, I really don't need them. I could flip them for AoE, but if I corrupt them and get the 21, then I can just like start leveling awakened gems, and that might be more valuable to do in these heists. It's area of effect. Oh, I'm corrupting them. 27%. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, well, I have 7% now. 3% area of effect. So if, if anything, I need to be leveling the Awakened Lightning Damage and the Lightning Pin and maybe mess with the Ball Light. I'll level the Added Cold and then I'll get three more Toxic Rains. Yeah, that seems fair. Finally, a Silk Weave Soul for Talina. I love that I have the damage I can take this unique enemy out. At 5 link level 20 Ball Cost Caro. I'm actually kind of surprised with how my damage has been. Is that all the engineering? Oh, I'm done. No more Isla. All right. Next would be the fun one. Counter Thaumaturgy, but I only need level four and five ones. Okay, so I've got to get Niles to level five still. The reason I call it Counter Thaumaturgy the fun one, because it seems like generally from running contracts, the most exciting things I get are gyms and the gym chests give me gyms and that's exciting but i could also just get a bunch of jewelry chests for currency i cannot be frozen belt that's kind of cool it's something you can't get on a visual hey jim's leveling up back up to 20 the ones that i flipped earlier and niles leveled up good i get to grab his level five piece craft it and also throw on the good cloak need the 15 percent currency i only get to do this for three more but want the determination job speed first gym chest 20 quality mana forged arrows chaos golem and berserk and a bunch of other quality gems level 20 cold snap 20 quality ground slam salted orb level 20 cobra lash well niles it was fun all six of our heists together and i got a disguise kit e2 job speed i'll take it old iron point a widow hail whoa, 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 whoa. that's i need to reorganize a little bit here because i need that that was a crazy heist cold iron point oh i guess that can't roll anything 165 i've never had a great rolled one of these widow hails Another blueprint. That's came off an enemy. Level 21 Guardian's Blessing. 
I feel like you could really only make use of this Guardian's Blessing, like if you're giving whatever minion is using it, endurance charges at least. The one I put on my carrying golem, it is, it is like level 1, and it still causes issues. Level 95, I have more life. I'm probably getting close enough to a point where I can start dropping the life nodes and get more damage, but at the same time, I'm just kind of cruising through this. I don't know that I really need to. 20 Frost Bomb and Conversion Trap. Ooh, nice. Three gym rooms. Level 20 flame dash. Nine GCPs. Level 20 caustic arrow. Lol. More counter thaumaturgy. That only leaves perception and deception. And I need to make space. So I need to start selling some of these ice targets. I may have done a few heists. It is uh, quite a few of these trinkets to sell to the guy oh my goodness still another tap okay so the values of these are going down because these are the ones that did at lower level so i guess the level of the heist contract matters for the value not done yet but over 350k markers and i freed up lots of space 33 perception contracts i have a level 5 perception charm e3 job speed and perception speed i will take that roll more brooches essences and maps that one's not too bad div cards and jewels mm, no currency is more important than Div cards, jewels is pretty worthless. Map fragments, job speed, jewels. That's a double T1. 12% currency, belly orbs and splinters. Scarabs, map fragments. No, I feel like I have to roll for currency and anything else just isn't good enough. 13% div cards, maps and catalysts. There's another T1 currency. Come on, essences. Okay. Ooh, job speed currency. Come on. I've just spent so long here rolling these. Breach splinters. Okay. I'm calling it on that one. I got two more T1 currencies. No div cards, I guess. Okay, so Gianna can only do level two. Perception, Gianna. Let's go. Gianna's so slow. At perception, Saint's treasure. The Daffer Prodigy, Soul Eater, Corpse Explodes, Solaris Touched, really? Ew. Hey, finally, I got a duplicated stack decks. That's what the currency duplication will do. The Chains That Bind, Desperate Crusade, cool. I really could have used one of those Prism Guardians last league. The Eldritch Decay, a Chaotic Disposition. Yana's done with Perception. Swap the goods to Nanette. Corrupting Blood Jewel, that is bad, but another Corrupting Blood Jewel. Three Imperial Legacies? Okay. Well, that just doubled the amount of those. The Chains That Bind. Oh, wow. What a synthesized Sapphire Ring. Eight Cold Res. Yup. Void Manipulation. Level four. Wait, wait, wait. That's getting plus one level of Socketed Gems. Oh, yes. It gives me plus one Chaos Skill Gems. That's another gem level. Yes. All for it. I'm dj -ding on mana now. Okay. I'll level the clarity up again. That was a huge gym level. No more perception. Time for the final push. The speed run heists. 36 more. Almost there. Level 21 frost bomb. Well, these heist contracts are awesome. I mean, Gianna's not the fastest at opening doors, but you don't have to open the chests. They're just open. Right after you open the door, you can just click them and go. It's really nice. And then the way back, there's no doors. So I can just run for the exit and be free but these absolutely end up being the fastest contracts without a doubt i think i either take these and probably dip i don't think i can there's no way i'm making that all the way to there even if i clear the path is it worth old foil hard sharp one more stack decks i don't know that's a potential blueprint reveal i just gave up poisoned fate one eighth of a corrupted arcali's fang i think i would have been better off with a life flask that had reduced charges used instead of the 30 max charges i feel like i struggle a bit to keep up the quicksilver flask all the time having the withering step though is a nice little extra bonus with the elusive to just zoom zoom out of here the chains that bind another chains that bind yeah it hit me again Ooh, a divine orb with the six big chests big distance from the end i can open four bigs and one small without tripping the alarm it's not as bad as the last one i'll make an attempt to make that run oh i should be able to make that oh yeah easy 
like eight seconds to spare even the fortunate number five it's two divines isn't it yeah waiting awaken lightning pin levels lightning adding cold level up past one ice number 240 on the day it has definitely been a day wound up taking me close to 12 hours to get them all done closer to like three minutes per heist on average getting two minutes pers you gotta be on it and being that on it for so many hours is probably not closing in on level 96 though which is wild the third day on this character and it's already my highest level character character never done a map on a five link plus four link uh the awakened void manipulation leveling has been fantastic i guess the big thing to note about this is no silver coins and not get silver coins in heist so heist is pretty much basically the same as in standard still like the craziest currency you can get all right and then a couple things to like finish up here need to sell all of the heist targets all right so what is the total here 477.3 k so i definitely had to spend a bunch i actually spent almost all that i had so i probably spent 100k plus just to run all of these what i want to know i wanted rogue markers and i had chaos what are they being sold for so people that have like, is there anybody who has over 100k here? Not really looking like it. it. Actually, it might not price over. They'd have to have them in their currency tab. So let's minimum stock 10k. There's a lot of them going like 200 to 1 chaos. So if I took 477,300, divide that by 200, that is 2,386 chaos worth of rogues markers. That's how much people in trade league don't want to run heists they want to run their blueprints but they don't want to run the heist contracts so like i've done this in the past where i would buy heist contracts off of people and then just run them and then i'd sell the rogue markers so like that that is a crazy amount of chaos value there what are divines going for 230 so i made like 10 divines worth of rogue markers just for running heist contracts pretty crazy but then next time it'll be blueprints i've got a bunch of all the different kinds i have 35 assuming they all have four wings that's 140 so it can't possibly take me as long to get through all of those as it took me to get through these and there's some of these that are only two wings and three wings so those will go much quicker though i'll have to go through all the reveals and whatnot oh, i need i need one to even see yeah, how many do i got i'm maxed out on Wakano. i've got 69 gianna reveals nice I don't know if that's enough to identify them all. And I definitely ran as many Giannas as I could. And I have plenty of rogue markers to go through all that. I'll do that all next time. One last thing I want to see. 486 stacked decks as well. That is a lot of extra stacked decks. On top of all, like, the value is crazy. I'm up to 600 stacked decks in total. Pull up the screenshot. Repair the currency tab. Started with 127 chaos up to 465. I gained 26 sextants. Went up like 170 regrets. 16 unmakings chance orbs i converted into scourings to use those but 53 fusings to 536 and then about 550 jewelers orbs four exalts three divines like over 40 blessed orbs even over 100 vol orbs so it, it definitely stacks up got all kinds of goodies and the div cards i got tons of screaming essences i had one screaming essence of dread left from when i crafted the bow so like those piled i have quite a lot more catalysts than i have all league i was picking up blight oils but like they're all bad out of heist and then a ton of fossils four gilded fossils four more perfect fossils a handful of delirious maps not to mention all of the rest of the loot there's there's five link six sockets all over these stashes everything showing highlighted here is fractured items in each of the tabs so there's a lot of fractured items as well heist contracts like crazy 241 days kind of insane too but i did it and 
next time we'll go blueprints but that's gonna do it for me for today i'd like to thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me if you'd like to help support my channel please consider using the super thanks the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member and i'll see you all in the next one cheers